Welcome back. You can probably see the bubbles. I've got fish out there all over the place now, like a jacuzzi. They could be eels, they could be bream, they could be tench. We'll have to wait and see. I'm feeling they're probably eels, but we'll see. Whatever it is, it's a fair fish. It's shooting off down the, down the canal. No elastic's doing its well. It's another bream. You can see it in the water, it's quite clear. It looks coloured, the water, but it really isn't. So they're good scrappers. Oh, gee, they're a good size. This one again is the best part of Four pound, I would think. Big, big fish. Yeah, look at that. That's a crack. What a cracky breed. Little big old warriors these are. Hook just in the lip again, which is where we want them. They do like a bit of worm. Look at that, a glorious fish. Absolutely covered in bream slime. Make sure I get it all off the rig. Wriggly worm. I still think we will get a eel at some stage. I'd like to get a tench, that's what I'd like to get, but we shall have to see. The bait. See what we get. So I'll put that other measure of worm in, and that seems to have sparked them up again. So it's not sitting quite right, it's probably on a bit of weed, I think. Yeah, that's on a bit of weed. better. A little bit of wind now coming down the canal so just holding the float back a little bit. It is quite susceptible to the wind because it's very straight the canal in this section. Oh that's a nice bite. This stretch is uh, controlled by Singapore's Angling Society. It's seven pound day ticket. As I say, if you choose your venue and the time to come, you can have a cracking day. Certainly seven quid's worth. We've got four bream for best part of fifteen pound. A few little perch, a few little rud. We're not finished yet. Look at those bubbles. Once I get over that chop worm and the head holds them as well, you can have a great day's fishing for a fiver's with a bait. 
the drop down. Don't forget to subscribe to these uh, little videos I do. I know they're not the best quality, but uh, they're about as good as I could do on my own. Bubbles all round this float. Just lift and drop every now and again just to This is the stretch where they hold the Venetian fate. It's uh, every two years, I believe, where all the, the floats get decorated and come up and down the canal. Look at those bubbles. Gotta put the worm in there. There's a big firework display afterwards. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite a good evening. There's the float right in amongst the bubbles. What are you? And can we catch you? Look at those bubbles, just like a jacuzzi. We've certainly got the fish's attention out there now. Give them a little tease. Little bite. Don't forget with the worm, let it really go under. Don't try and hit half bites because if they develop, they're just drop again just to see if we can get him to have a go. safely say the uh, crowd baits and all the, the freebies are doing their job. Some of these are going to have a bit too... Uh, <laughs> they have a little run. They might get them a bit too excited out here I think. I was going to loose feed caster over the top, but I don't think I will because I'll get them high up in the air in the water and it'll be even worse. We go. Uh huh. And what might you be? Certainly having a go again. And it's another breeze. Oh, the size of this one.
So I think I'm struggling to get him into that. Absolute brute. 